Our goal for every child that walks through our blue doors on any given day is that they receive um, a high quality club experience. So that means the moment they walk in the door, anything that happened before they got here melts away. I really love coming to Boys and Girls Club. I've been coming here for half of my life and I love coming to Boys and Girls Club because it feels like my second home. We are so much more than an after school care. We are a youth development organization. So our kids are, are coming here and rotating throughout the building and receiving academic support, focusing on healthy lifestyles, and learning what it takes to be a good citizen. I'm super proud to say that not just at the national level, but at the local level here at Boys and Girls Clubs of Martin County, we embody more than just the physical safety. We want to make sure our kids are emotionally safe. We want to make sure that our kids are mentally safe. We have wonderful staff who are knowledgeable, who go through regular training so that they can identify when club members are dealing with trauma or grief or just you know day-to-day -day issues that they might be facing that they're not equipped with the proper tools to deal with. When I first came into the Boys and Girls Club, I was getting in trouble because of personal things, you know. I just never told anybody because I didn't know how to tell somebody that. And plus I was young, so I didn't even understand what I was going through at the time. Anyone that does this work knows that the gratification is not instant. It's an investment, and when you invest in these kids, you gotta, you have to know and understand that you're not going to see it immediately. So I really started sticking with the mentor program and getting to really know my staff and everything. And over time, it paid off, as you know, because currently, like right now, like I said, I, I'm, I'm in the military. That's the beautiful thing of my job and my role is to really see that change from a child that struggled, they had some trauma that they're working through. Seeing that full 360 is so powerful to really know that what we do here, it matters. When you drive up to a club and there's a line of people waiting for food, that sort of dawned on me that this is bigger than me just dropping off the cheese lasagna. So food justice is um, in response to food insecurity. The idea behind practicing food justice is that we're working to ensure that there are no barriers to fresh, nutritious food for the young people that come into our clubs. Not just from the little meal they eat here, but when they go home, what, what's that look like for them at home? They're coming home with a recipe, they have the items that are already in their cupboard, and they're able to make something for their family. When we're talking about just access to those type of resources within the community, the biggest barrier is usually going to be the economic piece. I'm single mother and I don't have time to take care of my little girl. So Boys and Girls Group take my place when I'm working. You can probably find a lot of free programs, but not a lot of free programs that are going to give you character building skills, life building skills, skills that educate you on financial literacy, skills that just help build that character. The values of life and being positive and having respect for everybody all came down through the Boys and Girls Club. So with that being instilled, in me all this time is the reason why I'm here today. I want to say thank you to everybody in this place because everybody works with the heart. They make me feel comfortable and happy because my daughter is happy and she's everything for me. Yeah, there's times when my mother comes and picks me up and I don't want to go home. I want to stay. 